In this new series, we're going to do back to basics. So I've seen a lot of questions that are from people who are complete beginners. I just want to do some back to basics to get you off the ground, just to get you started on FreeCAD. Now I'm going to intentionally make these short. And a couple of things I'm going to show you first. So my version of FreeCAD, I'm on the latest version that you can download that is a production version. I'm not using a development version. I'm using the latest version that's released. Um, so 20, 0 0.20.2 is the release. Now, if you come into FreeCAD, what you may see is different to what I'm showing right now. And the reason for that is because I'm in a workbench and the workbench that I use most often is part design. Now you probably are in this workbench, this start workbench. So in start, you can create new from there and you can do all kinds of things from the start page. I don't use that. So to close that start page, if you look down here, you can close that. And then you can select from this workbench, part design. Now, I should explain that there is one called part and one called part design. I use part design 99% of the time. So if you wanna follow me, part design is where we're gonna go. So when you open up part design, what you're going to find is everything is blank. To start a new file, you go over here to this new, or you can go file, new. And what that did is it just created a new unnamed file for us to keep everything in. And you can see down here, we also have the unnamed file. Now, the way I do it is I create parts and then inside the parts i create the bodies you may see some people creating bodies directly in this file you can do that it will work however some of the assembly um, systems that we have available require you to have parts i like to start the hierarchy with a part and then a body and the body goes in this tree this is my model tree, the part, the body is underneath. Now, to create our first model, and that's what we're going to do, is we are going to create a sketch. So I'm going to hit the Create Sketch. And immediately, I am presented with the planes on which I can draw. So if I look at the XY plane, if I pick that first one, that's the XY plane. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm drawing in the XY plane. Another issue that some people starting out will find is that this may be zoomed out so that it's too small. If you look down here, you can see I'm 169.71 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So that means my size here is a reasonable size for a small part. If this is very, very small, if you're zoomed in this, this way, it can go to micrometers like that, and you don't want that to be the case if you look here. Because if you start designing things small like that, when you come to resize them, they can cause all kinds of errors with it turning inside out and upside down and all that good stuff. Now, I'm just gonna get you started in this video. I'm just gonna create your first model. To do that, the most simple way, we're gonna click here, we're gonna take the centered, rectangle and to do that you click on the center point of the rectangle and then you just open it up and stop that's all i'm going to do i'm going to close that and then i'm going to hit this first icon here which is pad and i'm going to pad that it defaults to 10 millimeters and it defaults to that in the direction that is going away from this here would be the XY plane. It's gone 10 millimeters high. That's all I'm going to do in this first video. I just wanted to show you how to create a model. So if you're enjoying this, if, if this is useful to you, let me know. 
I'm going to produce probably five in this series that just take you through creating your first model. And then it's going to be creating a pocket. And then I'm going to show you how we constrain a, a sketch. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.